Eugene, I agree. I absolutely, totally agree. We've had some pretty down and out people come in here in the past uh, six, seven months that have said that it helps them out a lot. And that is my main goal in life is to help people. Uh, it is. <laughs> Who know why? Did somebody hide your gloves again? Oh, that's cool, boss. Nice one. Thank you, Eugene. Say, uh, Minion Boss, did you uh, did you sign up on uh, my paperarmy.ml page so that you can post pictures of your builds there? I would love to be able to come see them. And that I understand that page really well, and I go there a lot. If, if you could do that, Minion, that would be fantastic. Same way with you, Eugene. I don't know if you've signed up on our paperarmy.ml page yet. If not, please. Naruto? How are you doing, Naruto fan? Nice. Welcome back. It's been a while. Well, that's good, B1. I didn't know droids could smile, but that's good. <laughs> oh, okay, Uno. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, those kind of issues are always rough, Uno. How? Oh, go to my link tree uh, on my bio. Open the link tree. And there's a paperarmy.ml. Just click on that and you can subscribe. Doesn't cost nothing. And it's a very secure site. Oh, I know, Eugene. I understand that. Um, and we're uh, we're aiming towards uh, ha of having that site be very, very big. Well, well Minion, uh have you answered all of the uh, emails that have been sent to you? Uh, Viola, have you, um, have you got, uh, yeah, you're in here. Does anybody know what's going on with the minion boss? He's, they're asking about uh, being a moderator and still waiting. I'm not sure how that's all working out. Bert? Uh, Naruto. Okay. Viola's looking, Minion. This is what I'm building. It is a Tiger Ray. Named by TikTok, made by me. And it's for my Emerald Fleet project that we have uh, trade uh, copyrights on. Um, it's my own design and my own storyline. Hi, baby. Nice to see you. Hi, Antonio. And so if anybody would like to get in on this raffle, it is Wednesday. It takes a dollar. You can, you can. Okay. Uh, when, when did you email him? Hi, Queen. Nice to see you. Welcome back. Yes. And a swept wing fighter bomber. All right. It's got bomb tubes back here, missiles or bombs. And so how are you doing, Glitch Queen? Yes, and baby's right. Or you can put money on the cash app. But that gets you a chance Wednesday to win this in a raffle. And we're looking, Minion Boss. We're checking on it. Oh, you bet, Queen. I'm glad to hear that. That's fantastic news. Okay. And... Okay, Minion Boss. Uh, Viola is going to be sending you another email in uh just a minute or two and she said check your spam folder
Thank you, Antonio. And if you go to my YouTube site, The Paper Engineer, you can learn how to make this cool stuff. Because here's the thing. I've got the cheapest hobby on the planet. I'm self-taught. There's nobody else but the people here in the paper army that are doing this stuff. That's it. Nobody else can teach you because there isn't anybody else doing it. It takes you a little uh, PVA glue in Europe or Elmer's here in the States. But my building materials, I've been doing this for 13 years and I've never bought building materials ever. Yes, uh, yes, Queen, we're on Instagram. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitch, Facebook, the paperarmy.ml live, or maybe that is the paper engineer live. Uh, and so, yes, there's a lot of other channels that you can, to, can catch us on. And if you go to my link tree, I believe it'll take you to all of them. Free building materials comes right out of your kitchen. Yeah, so check your uh, spam uh, folder, Minion, uh, in the next, uh, say, five minutes. It should be there. So anyway, yeah, in 13 years of doing this, I've never bought any material. The only thing I've bought is glue, and I buy it in a one-gallon uh, economy size. Hi, Ginger. <laughs> Where where is that at? Um, which which part, Ginger? A uh, Naruto? <clears throat> I don't have time to do a tiger tank. Okay, this this is the closest thing I've got is my tank concept model. All right, I teach you how to do this on my YouTube site. How to build the chassis, the turrets, the guns, uh, the hatches for the missiles. All right, the links on my link tree on my bio right here yes <laughs> i have i made an m1 a1 abrams i made a bulldozer for my father before he died and i'm working on this one this tank concept build say what okay all right Thank you. Hallie, Hallie's back in. Hi, Hallie. Yes, Antonio. And I teach you how to make the tracks, the wheels, uh, all of it. Hi, Luke. Nice to see you. The game's going off in about 45 minutes. Ginger can't find it, you guys. If somebody could help her out. Okay, Glitch Queen. I have uh, that and I have a PayPal account. Uh, so um, if you've got Cash App, that works the best because it flashes across my screen. And I see it. Antonio is your brother? Oh, that's really cool. Well, well, welcome, you guys. Yes, Antonio. If you go to my uh, TikTok here, and uh, one of my best things that I built is pinned at the top. It's my Star Destroyer. Absolutely amazing. And Ginger... Uh, look to AB Spotter or um, any of those folks. Hi, Eddie. Welcome back, my friend. How are you doing? The YouTube is the paper engineer. So anyway, yes. And if you go to uh, the paperarmy.ml on my link tree. Yes, it's a Star Destroyer, and it took over 11,000 pieces. That's good, Eddie. I'm glad to hear that. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, Glitch Queen. 
Matter of fact, uh, I think Viola, isn't there a specific place that has the raffles uh, there? What? <laughs> okay, that's hard for me, you know. <laughs> okay. Hi, Cody. Nice to see you. <laughs> yes, I do, Cody. How are you doing, my friend? Glad to see you. Absolutely, Cody. Totally. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Thank you, Ginger. <coughs> <laughs> How you doing, Cody? Thank you, brother. Absolutely, totally get it. Hi, Daddy Smiles. I didn't make a sandwich today. I had my uh, camera guy that started me out on YouTube two and a half years ago here for about two hours, and we went over uh, starting a video book, and got rich involved in signing him up into the company and I was just really busy. So I made a really quick video on the chicken I bought. <laughs> and so anyway, thank you, Ginger, very much. I'm doing good, Antonio. How are you? How are you and your brother doing? Well, the Gundam is uh, right here. And so <clears throat> I've had to do this because I need to do the raffle so I can, you know, uh, I can make enough money so I can stay in my uh, little uh, office here. And so I've had to work on this. Yeah, rotisserie chicken, Ron, is <laughs> really good. I like this stuff. I can't wait till I can get my own rotisserie. Uh, Eddie, I can. I need you to do that. If you're off for six months, Eddie, you need to go to my YouTube channel, The Paper Engineer, and learn my tricks so that you can make one. I don't have time, Eddie. It's one of those kind of things. I'm just stuck. Oh, you're using your sister's account? <laughs> okay, okay, Ginger. <laughs> anyway, uh, 200 roses. Is a TikTok dollar that'll get you in on this raffle for this Tiger Ray Wednesday. This one, this is this is going to be about a three hundred hour build. Uh, it's going to be stupid expensive, and so, but the arms going to go on here. The arms will uh, move, and the hands and stuff will do what they do. Anyway, this is a crazy build. I've had to. Uh, Make completely new stuff with this one. <laughs> I know, I know, Eddie. Yeah. It's on my link tree. Am I supposed to not answer that? On my link tree, on my bio, called the paper uh, army.ml. <laughs> okay here we go thank you baby um if someone was to buy this outright um that really kind of affects the raffle but i suppose a hundred bucks because I have to make that much um, on the raffles just to pay my rent. And so I suppose if somebody wanted to buy this uh, one of these, that $100 bill would get it. Because they take me about, shoes, jeez, I would say these take about um, 
10 hours for me to make. And uh, my big stuff gets $50 an hour. And so I'm pretty sure that $500 is out of the window on that one. From the Ukraine. Well, welcome, DJM. I salute the Ukraine. You people are fantastic. Fantastic. Absolutely. Totally. Thank you, baby, very much for your help. And I want to thank all of my moderators for what they're doing. You're doing fantastic work. <laughs> That's okay, Luke. You're ahead of the game. The game isn't for about another half an hour before I start. All right, Naruto. Take care. Nice to see you. Well, um, Minions Boss, you need to talk to Bert or Viola or, um, or you can talk to, um, Baby and, uh, you know, Cat Girl, any of the moderators, uh, is who you need to talk to about that because they have firsthand knowledge in what it's like being a moderator. Well, Luke, talk to the moderators about it. They can give you all the information you need uh, to work on that. Yeah. Right. Back on Tantooine, are you? Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> oh, boy, that was bad. Hi, cat girl. Nice to see you. Luke, you're back on Tantooine, but I thought you didn't want to go to that sandy uh, death trap anymore. I remember when I was running the game, I used to uh, take freighters of water there. Hi, Joe. Nice to see you. How you doing? 
And thank you all for sharing me with others. And for all the likes you guys put up, it's just absolutely amazing. And I thank you very much for everything you're doing. Uh-oh. Oh, excuse me, everybody. That's good, Luke. I'm glad because that is the reason why I do this show is to make people feel better. <sighs> Excuse me again. <laughs> Thank you, Spotter. <laughs> what? Wait, what? What? Oh. Uh. No, baby, I'm not. I'm just allergic to, uh, I don't know, nothing. <laughs> just dust. Whenever I sand things, stuff like that, it happens. Well, um, I m my lunch was actually bought. Yeah, I know. We're working on that, Eugene. We're definitely get working on that. And as soon as I get uh, relocated. Uh, oh, hi, Chloe. Bonjour, Chloe. <laughs> you met the old man he's grumpy yeah he kind of is i understand that <clears throat> paper dust yes joe well actually luke i'm not allergic to trollers i'm the troll whisperer oh thank you spotter absolutely <laughs> And I think I got that right. I'm going to translate that one just to make sure. Yep. Okay. Bonjour is hello. And I think merci is thank you. And I think merci is thank you. Thank you, Chloe. I am trying to learn. It's very difficult for a dyslexic mind like mine to learn a new language, but I am trying. And thank you for being patient with me, Chloe. If you'd like to get in on this raffle, anybody, it's a dollar in TikTok money, which is 200 roses. Well, thank you, Chloe, very much. Socius, S O U, Socius, de Socius. Okay. Oh, that's all right, Luke. Yeah, we wish you could play too, because another Jedi in the in the group would be fantastic. Thank you, Melinda, for all the likes you're putting up, and thank you all for sharing me with others. That is just one of the coolest things ever. And all the likes um, that you all put up, that is just absolutely fantastic. I know you wear your little fingers out doing that stuff. Oh, you can play. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we'll be ready to start the game shortly. 25 minutes.
Now, what this what this actually does here, when you put this little piece of paper on here, it covers up the seams that you have, and it um, <clears throat> it, it makes a finishing look on the armor. Oh, oh, camp. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay, Luke. I understand. That's fine. Thank you very much for straightening me out on that one. Uh, the Yeti is a uh, large creature that lives in the snow up in the Himalayan mountains. Uh, that's what a Yeti is. Uh, over here in the States, they call them Bigfoot, kind of a different breed. Yetis are white, Bigfoots are brown. Uh, I'm painting it the same as the other ones. They're all going to be matching because they're a uh, squadron. Yes, it is, Joe. Um, yeah, I got one right back here. Just... Uh, Brown bag from the grocery store. Cut into quarter inch strips and then put on here. And uh, what it does is it makes it, it makes this stuff real, real hard. Yes, Chloe. Oh, yes. Uh, another question? Absolutely, Chloe. Ja -un ja -un one. Oh, that won't translate. Okay, but we'll take that off of there. Well, thank you, Luke. It actually is. All right. These, these toys become, I mean, you can play with them once you build them. If you build them with my techniques, you can play with them for years. All right. I, I've had this one for 13 years. No, Eugene. Matter of fact, I welcome that. Uh, yes, Eugene, I, I absolutely welcome that. Thank you very much for your help. Ooh, that's a big one, look, Chloe. Um... You're missing, uh, you're, look, Chloe, look it up. When you swim, if your feet get cramps in them, you're missing a vitamin in your body that you need to take that will help you with those cramps. Yes, Chloe, it is all very confusing. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Luke, you could. <laughs> Absolutely. If you could figure out how to get the warp drive to work or, or the light speed drive, uh, maybe not. I guess you only need thrusters. Yes, cat girl, it is also called the abominable snowman. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry, cat girl. Thank you, Eugene. I appreciate that very much. Um, yeah, because I don't know how to do all that stuff. That's absolutely beyond me. Yeah, Joe, it is. Because the thing is about this, I use acrylic paint. And acrylic paint is like plastic. And so once you put the acrylic paint on the stuff, 
and it dries, <clears throat> it's just like coating your paper with plastic. Okay, Eugene. <clears throat> if you go to my paperarmy.ml page, Eugene, you can see uh, the logos and stuff that we have there. Uh, uh, Viola, uh, is Rich in? You are? Oh, okay, Obi-Wan is there. Would you, uh, would you talk to Eugene, uh, Richard, please? Yes. All right. Mud, my friend, how are you? You're welcome, Mud. Very much so. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Chloe. <laughs> I, I read that correctly. I was pretty sure it wasn't a car package because <laughs> I don't remember shipping a car to anybody. Say what, Rich? What? Eugene, yeah. Eugene Champ Champagne or Champion? There's so I think so. Yeah, it's Eugene. Oh, I know, Chloe. I know. That it, it's tough. Hi, Mike. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Uh, I guess, I, Minion, I think you just have to answer the email when you get it. I don't think there's anything special about it other than just to answer it. <laughs> oh. Yep. Uh, yep, minions, just answer the email. Okay, he says okay. <clears throat> um, this week, um, Mud is um, the number three of six Tiger Ray. Swept wing, um, fighter bomber. It's got the missile tubes back here or the bombs. It's got a uh, uh, 50 ton cargo bay so it can carry a lot of munitions or it can just take cargo. The wings open so it's more maneuverable in the air. And then when it gets ready to go to space, it just closes up and off it goes. And so this is for our Emerald Fleet project that I have copyrights on. And so this is uh, what we've got on the raffle this week. And if anybody would like to get in on this raffle, uh, 200 roses is equivalent to a TikTok dollar. Each 200 roses you put in or 200 coins, you get a raffle ticket for this Tiger Ray. Named by TikTok, made by me. My own design. Nobody else has it. Oh, well, Chloe, don't bite your lip too hard, sweetie. Please. Um, okay, doctor, what kind of help can I give you? You know, um, I'm not a good chiropractor. But if it's, if it's mental wisdom, I have a little bit of that. Well, hey, Chloe, I'll th thank you, Mud. Um, Mud just sent $20 on the Cash App, everybody. Fantastic news. Thank you, Mud. Well, Chloe, uh, something you could do is um you know try something like this try try just getting a stick instead of biting your lip 
Bite the stick. Hi, Supan. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, yes, Chloe, it is a habit. But here's the thing. Find a better habit. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, my, I know you will. Yeah. No, no, Ron. Uh, never. I, I really didn't. It, it never crossed my mind. But it's an honor, and it's due to you, you very generous, kind people here on, on my TikTok page and my phone show. Translation. You bet, Chloe. Good luck with that. What? You need, you need everyone to choose one word together and type it up? I don't know how that's even possible, doctor. <laughs> I, I hope not, Mud. I really do. I need one word. Uh, who, who is it? N-E-G Negasonic Teenage Negasonic Teenage Warhead? What? Where is Negasonic at? Uh, very slow, Supan. Very slow. Because I don't have any money to build it. And so it's very slow. Fighter? What? Oh, man, Mud, that's a tough one. I have an Evo frame, separate engine and transmission. And uh, I've got a friend over in Idaho that I believe has me an engine. We just can't find the transmission. They wanted one word. That was a good one, Mud. Who in the heck is Negasonic Teenage Warhead? What? I don't even know who it is. I've tried seeing that, and I don't even see that name. Everyone type fighter, please. Okay, I don't know how that's going to help, but everybody please type fighter for uh, the doctor. And maybe that will get him out of one dimension and into another. There's one fighter. Chloe put a flighter on there. That's close. Uh, not anymore, Supan. I used to. Spotter put fighter up. Nope, my car didn't take a bump. My car works fine. Fighter. I'm not sure, Chloe. I, I really don't know. He just wanted everybody to type fighter in for a reason. I have no idea. That is confusing. I know, Chloe. It's okay. I'm confused, too. Okay, we need six more fighters, you guys, and I don't know why. But anyway, if we can help the doctor out, he needs six more people to write fighter. All right. I, I know, Supan, it is. Thank you very much for your compliance. Thank you for your help. Well, it kind of varies, uh, Chloe. It, it depends. Like right now, uh, the doctor is trying to get uh, like six more fighters uh, for some reason. Not sure why. 
Oh, Joe put up boxing gloves. Uh, I hope that that works. That's a fighter's symbol, uh, doctor. Oh, yes. Yes, thank you, Silverman. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Nice to see you. There's a there's another fighter, uh, doctor. It should be three more. Yeah, <laughs> we need three more fighters. Does the does the boxing gloves work for you, uh, doctor? Yes, Chloe. Just write fighter. F i g h t e r. Yes, in the chat. There's another fighter. Is that enough, doctor? Two more? <laughs> oh, no. I don't even know what's going to happen, you guys. Can we get two more fighters, please? Uh, did the boxing gloves count, doctor? Oh, that's excellent news. That's excellent news. <laughs> it's okay, Chloe. I think we got it. We got one more to go. I think we got that. Doctor, is that enough? Yes, zero. Yes. Okay. Now, doctor, can you explain why you needed that many fighters? Oh, yes. And, oh, it, something is coming, you guys. Don't know what. I know, Chloe. It's okay. I'm still lost, too. Well, Uno Sticks, <laughs> we don't know what's going on. The doctor has something planned. Yes, Supan, I agree. Well, that's okay, Mud. We, boom, baby. I'm back on Earth. Thank you all. Okay, I knew he was. Okay, what 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 the problem was was he was trapped in another dimension and he needed to get back here. Yep. He was in another dimension and he needed a way back here and he had to have that many people write that much fighters to get him back here. It's okay, it's okay, Chloe. It's a game. It, it was just, it was a game to get, uh, oh, we killed the Daleks and Cybermen with the word fighter. And so, Chloe, if you don't understand the Doctor Who series, then it's one of those kind of things that's very hard to understand. <laughs> I know, I know, Uno. <laughs> and who in the world, who in the world is, is that? Hi, Nikki. We're live again. Nikki says hi, everyone. Goodbye, everybody. Uh, she says bye, everyone. <laughs> Who is Negasonic Warhead? Come on. I can't figure that out. I haven't even seen that name. Who is it? Well, actually, Chloe... Uh, Doctor Who is a British show on the BBC. Hello, Mademoiselle. Oh, I get that one. That's hello, young lady. Eh, if it is, I hope he enjoyed himself. <laughs> yeah, Joseph, I hope he did. Oh, it is Uno. You think it's the Doctor? Is the Negasonic Warhead? Oh, yeah, okay. I, that's possible. I don't know. I didn't ever did tap his name. Ooh. What? That didn't translate at all. Oh man. Oh, thank you, Spotter. So Negasonic Warhead. 
<laughs> is the doctor. Oh, it's your name for now. <laughs> okay. Because I'm going Negasonic Warhead. Are you kidding me? I know that name. That was in the, that was in the, what was it? That was in Deadpool. Well, David, today I am working on the Tiger Ray. And so, yeah, and we got the game. Uh, the Star Wars Star Trek mashup is coming on in four minutes. Yeah, yeah, Supan. Yep. Okay, Chloe. Um, if they they can because they can translate, I'm sure. Yes, Joe, it is. And it was also in the Deadpool movie. Oh, uh, yeah. Who's playing, uh, Mud? Kyle, we're getting ready to play the game. I have got the spinner handy. And that gives me a chance to not build for a while, which is also kind of handy. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, that, that yeah, that's tough. See you later, doctor. Take care. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> well, that's one thing, Chris. You know, I, I'd say this all the time. Keep a cleany rag so that you keep your fingers clean. Because I tell you what, Elmer's glue on your hands makes it very hard to make parts stay where you want them to. <laughs> yeah, cat girl. Absolutely. Thank you, everyone, for getting in on this raffle. It's 200 Roses is a TikTok dollar. Signed and dated and numbered piece by me. Made for TikTok by me. Named by TikTok. If you'd like to get in on this, it's 200 Roses is a TikTok dollar. It'll get you a ticket in this raffle. Oh, that's okay, Chloe. We don't mind. How do you do, Archie? How are you doing? Nice to see you. This is my raffle today. It is for the number three, Tiger Ray. Well, thank you, Luke. Um, is there anything in particular I need rescuing from right now? Because nobody's attacked me yet. But let's see. Your perception is not so good. Uh, you, you, uh, you missed by a, a mile. <laughs> Sorry, Luke.
Oh, okay, Chloe. I hope you win the contest tomorrow. That's good, Archie. Oh, yeah. Yep. Tiger Ray. Uh, let's see. Uh, three of six, signed and dated and numbered, Emerald Fleet Project. And uh, that's for my own stuff right here on TikTok. Uh, I don't, I don't know, Luke. Um, we'll see. Yes, Chloe. A spotter. All you have to do is figure out, uh, what you're going to be. You can be a D and D character, Star Trek, Star Wars. Um, you know, last time, last Monday when we played, uh, the guys wanted to play in, uh, dinosaur days. Well, while they were busy uh, having spear fights and stuff like that with dinosaurs, uh, uh, a Star Trek crew beamed in. And uh, <laughs> so it was interesting. Oh, Supan, I did think about making the Batmobile, but now I don't have time. If you can go to my YouTube page, Supan, and learn how to do this, um, you could make the Batmobile, and I would help you with it. Uh, I could tell you all kinds of things you could do. Yes, Luke, the doctor needed help. Okay, Spotter, you can be Captain Rex. Not a problem. What kind of gun are you using? Y yeah. That Falcon's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, Luke, I'm sorry. Uh, the doctor, we got him here, and then he jumped back in his TARDIS, and off he went. Yeah, the doctor's a pretty busy guy. Oh, this is nice. I don't have to worry about building or anything. All I have to worry about is laughing and joking and playing the game. I don't know what happened to Goose and Gat. I don't know where they're at. Yes, Archie, it does. It's amazing. A Desert Eagle or an M16? Well, you'd probably have both, a uh, spotter. But uh, Captain Rex has a blaster. Oh, yes, Chris. Yeah, and the reason, Chris, is because you learned so much uh, making this last one. And those that knowledge goes into your next project. And so you're ahead of the game. And that's what makes it so cool. Because the more you build, the better you get. Oh, the mo yeah, the Batmobile? <laughs> Kyle, Kyle's in. Okay, Kyle has has a yellow lightsaber. Luke. Oh, Luke's spinning two lightsabers. Nice. Uh Luke, uh meet Kyle. Um you guys are working in the same situation right now. And let me see what I can come up with really fast for the two Jedis. Ew, that's actually not bad. All right. You guys are on Coruscant right now. And you got to track down a rogue bounty hunter. That's just uh, pretty much uh, just whacking people. Okay. Spotter, you're with the with the uh, the two Jedi's, Kyle and Luke. Hi, Billy. <laughs> Glad to see you. <laughs> uh oh, Kyle is uh, winking out, and he disappeared into a hallway. 
And yeah, there's a possibility. Let me see. Let me see if uh, Luke or uh, Luke saw him or Spotter. Luke uh, just kind of looks around like, what? What happened to Kyle? Spotter, you seen him run down a hallway and disappear. Okay, let's see. What is Rex? Rex, what are you doing, Rex? Nice. Oh, hey, and okay, let's see. Let's go with Luke, and uh, you got a problem right next to you. Ooh, Luke doesn't see him. How about Captain Rex? DC 17 to spot. Okay. You see the Lego bounty hunter standing next to uh, the Jedi ready to shoot him in the back. That's okay, Chloe. It, this is a game we're playing right now. And it's really, if you don't play role playing games, this is kind of tough to catch on to. Okay, double double slice uh, with the Jedi sense. Let's see. Oh, you still don't know he's there, Luke. You're you're like what? I know there's something here, but you can't see him. You see a toy there, Rex. What are you doing? Um, Joseph. I have only made folded paper airplanes. I've never made any uh, actual airplane stuff out of paper. Hi, Brandon. I'm doing really well. We're having a DD and d uh, mashup Star Wars Star Trek game. And, and we got a Lego uh, assassin uh, bounty hunter. Rex. You heard you heard him, Rex. What are you gonna do? <laughs> and so that's what we got going on right now. Well, thank you, Brandon. Very much for the rose. Oh, thank you very much. If you get 200 uh, coins in, you get in this raffle. Well, if you if you build it properly, uh, Joseph, uh, it should fly just like a regular uh, plane. <laughs> okay. And... What? You missed Rex? What the heck? But Luke, do a spot check. Luke's doing a spot check. Oh, a natural 20. Okay, Luke, you see that Rex winged a toy. Thank you, Brandon. And if it equals 200 roses or more, you're in the raffle. And I don't know. Is, is Brandon in the raffle? Before? He might, he might be. Nope, not yet. Well, thank you, Brandon. If those equal 200 roses or more, you're in the raffle for Wednesday on this Tiger Ray uh, fighter bomber that I made. And so that's fantastic news.
<laughs> okay, you two guys got the toy pinned. He can't get away. What are you going to do with him? Thank you, Silver, for the rose. Very much. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. For more roses, thank you very much. Oh, think you've been stabbed? Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Luke, you've been stabbed. It came from that toy. Thank you, Brandon, very much for the roses. Oh, thank you for the ice cream, Silver. Yeah, that means you, uh, a spotter, that means you actually have to jump between the toy and uh, the Jedi because you don't have force powers. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Luke created a force shield. Okay. And, eh. okay, uh, Luke, high or low? Okay, Demon Lord, low. It was low. You actually created a screen between you and a droid. And uh, you got healed by Obi-Wan with two points of healing. So your wound now is not critical. It is only superficial. Because that's actually like eight. Rex, what are you doing? Yes, they have. And they heard the call. They're on their way. Go ahead, Chloe. What's your question? Um, yeah, but you see a whole lot of little blocks all over the place. You're on Coruscant, Obi-Wan. Yeah, he just, he like, poof. And there's just now little blocks everywhere. Yes, Chloe, I would absolutely trust you. No, he couldn't have gone far. That's for sure. Yeah, might have had something to do with the force field. That's absolutely fine, Chloe. I trust you very much. <laughs> yeah, you have to. You have to, Chloe. Because the more you practice something, the easier it gets and your muscle memory stays there. Looking for answers. Looking for answers. 
Ah, hard telling. You, you've never seen anything like this before, uh, Rex. Oh, yeah, Chloe, throwing your sister in the air. I bet you she likes that. Calls for Yoda. Uh-oh, that's a tough one. That's a that's a percentage dice. No, Yoda's not around. Oh, yeah, it, 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 when it flies. <laughs> okay. Oh, absolutely. You see a bare electrical wire sticking out of the ground right about where uh, the assassin might have been standing. Yes, Joe. Wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. I did that for years, by the way, in martial arts training. He <laughs> got a voicemail. <laughs> Rex got a voicemail in his helmet. Are you going to share it with the party, Rex? Oh, that's that's fantastic, uh, Chloe. Oh, that's neat. Mui is, is, I think, great or something. Mui is me. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, are you guys going to do a spot check? Oh, Chloe, I wish I could put you in there. I don't know how to do that. Uh-oh. Well, Kyle, you just did a spot check and seen Luke get shot three times from somewhere. Not sure where. Spot check on Rex. Rex, you uh, you think you know where the shot came from. It came from the alley behind all them little blocks. And... Nope, Luke, don't die. All right, Kyle. Kyle's helping Luke. Luke's on the ground. Hi, Minion Boss. Natural 20 heal. Luke... Your eyes come back open and you go, oh, my God, what happened? So, um, Obi-Wan, you know, saved your life. See, now Rex has armor. Okay, Rex, five shots rip off from behind some boxes down at the end of the, uh, uh, the alleyway. Uh, one of them hit your armor, but didn't hurt. Oh, Master Robinson. Oh, okay. Translate. Oh, what? You died of your sister? No, Chloe, you can't die. Tracking the shots. Yes, you pinpointed the location. You can actually see the barrel of the gun sticking out between two crates. Yeah, and now that your vision is cleared... Uh, Luke, you see that it's not Obi-Wan. He's gray, Jedi. <laughs> what, what, 
Oh, I guess so, Chloe. It's a miss. Rex, I don't know what's going on. Uh, no, no, no. Stupid. No. Oh, unstable connection. Doggone it. Oh, lost connection. Well, and only lost for a little bit. A Viola Minions boss says, thank you for everything you've done. Goes after the hitman. Yeah, you're hot on his trail. And it looks like a toy running down the alley. <laughs> I'm a heady on that one. <laughs> Okay, Chloe, another question? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, are you calling on your comm link? Because Coruscant has the Jedi Council real close uh, by. Well, it's on Coruscant anyway. Uh, no, Chloe, I don't have black humor at all. Um, they do somewhere, but I'm not sure. The live lasts until 6. Oh, dark humor. Yes, yes, Chloe. Uh, I've I've heard of dark humor. Hi, Born, Bjorn. <laughs> Sorry about that. How are you doing, Bjorn? Catch the hit, man. Catch the hitman. Yes, you do catch the hitman. You jump on him and rustle him to the ground. Nice one, Rex. Well, Eddie, we're playing a Star Wars Star Trek mashup game. Star Wars Star Trek uh, D and D, and I'm running the dice, and we got people playing the game. Um. No, Rex, you don't. You, you hit him so hard from behind that you knocked the wind out of him. His gun went flying, and he didn't get a shot off. Well, Mama, right now we're just having fun playing a D&D &D Star Trek mashup uh, game that I uh, kind of came up with. And, yeah, Eddie, it's a mix. Um, a lot of different things are going on. Like right now, Rex and Luke and some of the other plays, I have a very dark humor. Well, that's okay, Chloe. We don't mind. Yeah. No, Daddy Smiles, no cavemen. Well, you're on Coruscant right now. Yeah, Eddie, it's D&D &D Star Wars Star Trek. I kind of let everything mix together. Oh, Chloe, I've laughed when people fall because I've fallen a lot in my life. I know it's funny. Yes, it's, yeah, but it's only 524 here. Yes, the hitman is down and you're on top of him, pummeling him. He looks like a toy block man. Oh, what, what is that, Eddie? Hi, Hallie. Yes, yeah, Stranger Things I've heard is pretty darn good. Oh, it's what's in the real D&D? &D? Oh, I don't know. I haven't played real D&D &D in, wow, 20 years. 
All right. And then and everybody hears the shots going off in the alley. Talking to Master Yoda. What are you asking Master Yoda? He's actually there. Help? Chloe needs help? How can I help you, Chloe? <laughs> yeah, you happen to notice everybody's hiding behind barrels and stuff. <laughs> well, it, you got lucky. The only thing you winged was a bird up on a wire. Yes, indeed. Kyle, you do sense them. And and yes, if anybody would like to get in on this, this is the raffle. Uh, it'll be Wednesday. It's for the number three of six Tiger Ray. I built this specifically for TikTok. It is part of the Emerald Fleet project of my own design. It's a swept wing, wing fighter bomber. And 200 roses is a TikTok dollar. You put 200 roses or 200 coins in, it'll get you in this raffle for this tiger rake. There's only six of them in the world. Somebody in the paper army is going to be happy. Batman, Batman. We're playing D&D Star Wars Star Trek mashup, Batman. Yoda says, yes, absolutely. Go save him. YouTube meet. Chatu Ulil Ulil. I can't even pronounce that word. And my translator is not going to translate it. I don't think. We'll see. Translate. YouTube tickles me. Oh, YouTube tickles you. Oh, that's cute, Chloe. Yes, yes, minion boss. You, well, Batman, here's the cool thing. You love to beat up some things. Well, uh, all of a sudden, Batman, you find yourself in a world city. And you see some thugs over there uh, picking on like a homeless guy. They're just, you know, and they're dressed really funny. You've never seen anything like this before, Batman. What are you going to do? <laughs> well, yeah, not on this planet, Daddy Smiles. You've never seen anything like it. It's a world city. Last 30 minutes. Yes, and uh, and uh, Rex, while you're there uh, holding this thing, uh, the... Um, uh, the constables there at Coruscant uh, come up. Uh, which way are you running? You running towards the bad guys or are you running away from the bad guys, Batman? Yeah. And uh, Rex, they uh, hand you a voucher for uh, 2,000 credits for this bad guy that you brought in. Oh, and you beat them up. Nice. Here we go. 
Batman's Batman's in charge. Oh, your sister tickles you? <laughs> well, that's good, Chloe. I hope you're laughing. I really do. Oh yeah, Batman. You're just you're just pounding these punks. <laughs> that's okay, Chloe. I get it. What's your sister's name, Chloe? Okay, you successfully get to the outer rim with Luke. Now, my question to you at this point is, what planet in the outer rim are you looking for? And did you even go the right direction? <laughs> yeah, I'm Batman. Absolutely are. Um, Batman, you... you you pummeled these three thugs and they're all laying around going, Oh my God, I got, who is this? What is this thing? Oh, I've never seen anything like this. Oh, don't hurt us anymore. Bat creature. The closest one to enter the outer rim. Okay, without my book, I'd have to say that's Tantooine. Yeah, and they go, Batman? What's a Batman? What? 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 What's a Batman? We we know what stormtroopers are and, and the force users, them Jedis, but a Batman? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and zip away. All right. And uh, let me see. Okay. Yeah. Batman disappears in a flash of an eye. <laughs> Look at that. Chloe did it. I spit water out of my nose because I was laughing so hard. Oh, that's cute, Chloe. I don't know how you put that in English, but you did it. Oh, you just understood the translator. Well, it worked, sweetheart. It all came through in English. I didn't have to translate it. Oh, Batman. I, I have to see if you even know that. Oh, yeah. For some reason, uh, Michael, uh, who's talking to me on cheese? Richard, somebody just emailed me something that said, Michael, question mark. Um, yes, Batman, for some reason, you've been able to tap into the computer system and you understand Jedis are good, Sith is bad. So, you know. Well, thank you, Chloe, very much. I hate cheese. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, what are you flying in, uh, Kyle? Yeah, you're not having any trouble landing at uh, Moss Eisley. For justice because I get that in an X-wing. Uh, no, uh, sorry, that was really nice, but you had a somebody with you, Kyle. You, you, you can a Y-wing is the closest thing you can have to two people. Um, uh, X-wings uh, don't have it unless, well, um, a uh, Luke. Are do you have your uh, your X-wing? Because if you do, then you guys are flying in tandem. <laughs> you'll figure it out chloe you did it once you'll be able to do it again and yes i am batman uh yeah oh okay uh luke you and uh kyle are in a y-wing uh 
your Rex. All right. You you can't you can't just change up in the middle of the game there, Demon Lord. You you don't get to be Obi Wan and find no force sensitive kids. You're Rex, and you're still back on Coruscant because you didn't tell me you were leaving or nothing. You're just you're still back there with the constables trying to figure out what to spend your two thousand credits on. I'm doing good, Animal. Hi, Red Dragon. Nice to see you. Where at are you looking for the girl, Kyle? Oh, your nose hurts, Chloe? <laughs> yes, you are, Batman. I totally agree. But uh, you've never seen a place like this before. When you get higher up and higher up, all you see is more city and more city. You've never seen anything like this. As far onto the horizon, Batman, as you can see, there's city. I'm doing good, Red Dragon. How are you doing? Hi, Larry. Nice to see you. Yes, how are you going to get to the farm? We're, we're kind of playing a game, Larry. And um, I sort of decided that this would be a lot of fun. And it's actually turned out to be pretty good. Oh, that's great news, Red Dragon. That's fantastic. Speeder bikes. All right. It's going to take you nine hours to get there. Right, but the thing is, he came in playing Rex. He can't change up who he is in the middle of the game. And I know he came in as Obi-Wan. And so, but he said he was Rex. And I know who Rex is. Yes, well, that's nice, Larry. That is really cool. I've expanded a bunch, Larry. Um I'm now simulcast on five different channels and uh, which is absolutely stunning. And so it's come a long ways. Yes, Red Dragon, you definitely did miss the beginning. We've been playing Star Wars, Star Trek D and D mashup game. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Kyle, you rolled a two. For some reason, your force is being dampened. Uh, no, Batman. Uh, they're on another planet in the Outer Rim. You are uh, you are at Coruscant, Batman. <laughs> you, you don't know how to fly nothing here. And so, you, and nice try, but you can't. I, I can't alter the game that much. See, they went to Tantooine, and you're stuck on Coruscant. About uh, 500,000 light years difference. Well, thank you. Larry. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's been a heck of a deal. Uh, no, Chloe, I don't play a role. I am sort of trying to direct the game. All the way back to panning for gold. Oh, geez, Larry. That's amazing. And there's not a lot of people that know that one. Yeah, Batman, you're stuck on Coruscant. They're on a, they took their X-Wings and went somewhere else. Oh, you're, you're spending money to try to help the force sensitive kids. Um, well, oh, that's good news. Um, uh, Rex, uh, the officers direct you toward the Jedi Academy. Oh, that's fantastic, Larry. <laughs> Chloe says, I am Batman. <laughs> well, thank you, Larry. Um, where have you been? It's been a while.
your force sense is not leading you in the right direction. There's something dampening your force, Kyle. Um, for what, Batman? And where? Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to do to get caught and imprisoned there, Batman? You know, Kyle, that somehow there's a dampening field around you that is keeping the force from working. Hi, Jerry. How are you doing? Nice to see you. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. And thank you for sharing me with others and for all the likes that you guys have put up. It's just amazing. I don't know, Red Dragon. I've never heard of Batman wanting to go to jail before. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe he, maybe Batman got scared because he's on a planet that doesn't make sense. Oh, Chloe, I don't know. I, I hope, I hope that's not true. I really do, Chloe. You're such a sweetheart. It doesn't make sense to me either. Yes, the uh, Jedi Council asked uh, asked you, Rex, what can we do for you, Rex? You've been a good man so far. He, I know, Red Dragon. Maybe you can guide him, Red Dragon. Let's see. Red Dragon's doing a spot check. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Um, you see this dark uh, figure. Kind of like, what the heck? I don't know what to do. What are you going to do, Red Dragon? It looks like a bat. Oh, I will not, Chloe. I, I don't even know who she is, sweetheart. And, oh, I don't know, Kyle. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he is. Okay, Red Dragon. You bet, Chloe. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Chloe. And I don't I don't know if she's here. I don't think uh, I've ever seen her here. Well, um, uh, Yoda tells you that those four sensitive kids aren't here, but we can probably send you in the right direction. Yes, you are, Batman. And a, a person comes up to you and starts talking to you in a foreign language. Oh, it is not a she? What? I'm lost, Chloe. Batman. <laughs> okay, Red Dragon, you turn your translator on. And you need to talk to Batman. And all of a sudden, Batman, you understand what this person is saying. Yeah, and it's funny because half of it was gibberish and then she like was uh, uh, touching something and all of a sudden you understand. Ooh, 
That's dangerous, Kyle. Wow. Kyle gets a critical strike on Vader. Kyle, you see the wound starting to heal up. But but he's not he's not fighting you. Ten parsecs away from you by X Wing. That's for you, Rex. Uh, I don't know, Red Dragon. Oh, he's giving you right there. He's telling you what he's looking for because he's on Coruscant. And this is this is wacko crazy. He's never seen a city world before because there's no such thing on in Gotham. What, Chloe? I would like to know what you'd like to grow be when you grow up. Let me see. A businesswoman. That's for Chloe. I tried. I was thinking businesswoman, Chloe. None? Okay. Uh... Um, what you mean, Chris? Oh, oh, it, it came across my phone. And so it's, it, I don't know where it is. But it had my name, Michael, and then a question mark. Yeah, Yoda says there's one in the hangar bay waiting for you, Rex. Uh, oh, you want to be a star, Chloe? Oh, that's fantastic news. Well, young lady, practice and study. You can become a star. Yes, you do, Kyle. What are you going to do now? Because it looks like Vader is healing himself. Okay. Thank you, Rich. I wasn't sure because it crossed here. Couldn't tell. <laughs> uh, Batman, you're having a heck of a time. Okay, Chloe, you have to be more specific. I, I don't get it. Okay. Oh, you want to be a mermaid. Oh, well, in this game, you can be a mermaid, sweetie. It's just, I hope that you learn which button to push so that you, you're, you speak in English because it makes it easier to play the game if I know what you're talking about ahead of time. I am Mr. Smooth. I'm doing very well. Uh, it's 10 parsecs out and it'll take you like half a day at light speed. And if you get some good luck, eh, you'd be there in half a day. So about six hours. And Batman, you know that Red Dragon is actually uh, trying to help you out. And she pulls up a holographic uh, bunch of planets and starts pointing at different ones. <laughs> and uh, you, you got to, wow, I don't even know how to get you back home, Batman.
Uh-oh. Go ahead, Chloe. Uh, what question? Yeah. You guys make it off planet. No problem. Well, Batman, it's a holographic images of different planets it, uh, from where you are. What are you going to do? <laughs> I know, Ron. Thank you, Red Dragon, for the rose. Hey, Rex, do a spot check. Yes, Chloe, it is because I have to translate everything you say before I can answer. <laughs> ben was the Joker and Red Dragon. <laughs> yeah. Hi, David. How are you doing? Uh, we're playing D&D &D Star Wars Star Trek mashup game. We got Batman stuck on Coruscant trying to figure out how to get back to Gotham City. We've got Rex. Uh um, um, <laughs> uh, nice, uh, Rex. I don't know what to tell you. You, you yeah, Joker, is it edible? <laughs> uh, Demon Lord, uh, Rex does a spot check, and um, yeah, Rex, uh, there's nobody here. Oh, that's okay, Chloe. <laughs> no worries. And and Red Dragon, you understand? He says, no, the Joker is a person. It kills people. He kills people. <laughs> and uh, absolutely flawless landing, Kyle. <laughs> Sick of Bert. <laughs> oh, Ron, you missed it. We had a troll in today earlier. Um, it was it was interesting. Joker, Batman screaming. Oh no! Um, a Jedi Council gets back to you immediately. Rex and says, "What do you mean?" Uh, the kids are here safe at the at the Jedi Council. Yeah, a natural 20 on the Jedi Council accepting these kids. Well, this gal came in and she was a heck of a a heck of a tough Batman zips away. Chloe, you did it. It says I will return in one minute. Very good, Chloe. Whatever you did, it it went to English. Okay. Yes, Red Dragon. And you know that somehow or another, Batman has to enter the rip in space where the Death Star blew up Alderaan. That's the only way to get Batman back. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we got five minutes of the show, you guys. I don't want to leave anybody hanging, but Batman may be stuck till next week. Absolutely, Kyle. <laughs> thank you, cat girl. Hi, Scoops. Well, Scoops, we've been playing a D&D &D Star Wars uh, Star Trek mashup game that I uh, came up with in my head for people to play on Monday nights. And so there's no building, really. There's just talking and having fun. And I roll my 
dice to see how everybody's doing. Normally, I show off my builds and stuff that I do. Oh, um, hold on, Red Dragon. Wait a minute. Um, no, you realize that not where the Death Star is today because it's got blown up. It is where Alderaan was blown up. You have to get the coordinates there and you find them. Yes, Kyle, we can keep your story going next week. Uh-oh, the Joker's here. Oh, no, Joker. Oh, my God, you're trapped on Coruscant, Joker. You've never seen anything like this before. It's a world city. That's okay, Red Dragon. You saved it, rolled a natural 20, and you realized that, oh, no, I need where Alderaan is. All right, everybody. It's the end of the show for the night. Batman is stuck on Coruscant. Red Dragon is helping him. The Joker just showed up, who is stuck on Coruscant, and oh, nuts. <laughs> uh, do a spot check, Joker, and on your spot check, you get a plus eight. You bet, Kyle. Take care. I'll see you later. There's three minutes of the show, everybody. The mashup game will be back next Monday night. And uh, we will have as much fun as we possibly can have in an hour of a mashup D&D Star Wars Star Trek game. And uh, let me see. Uh, that. Plus eight on that is a 20. Uh, Joker, you see Batman talking with somebody down the street. Hi, Cropping. Nice to see you. You caught the last two minutes of the show. I I'm at... Oh, that's nice. Everybody, uh, Ginger just told me if you go to my link tree and click the raffle, you can go there and put anything you wish on the raffles. It saves a lot of problems with all this raffle stuff. Uh, no cropping, I never did, but I taught some people in the Gray Bar Motel how to make a paper house. So anyway, thank you all for joining the game. Next Monday, we're going to continue uh, with the game. Most all the players are on Coruscant. We've got Batman. We have the Joker. We've got Rex and many others. But anyway, y'all, thank you for coming to my phone show and making this the most spectacular place for everybody to come and see. I love you all. You're fantastic people. Kind, generous, understanding, caring. And you care about the human race. That is probably the most important thing in this world. Thank you all. I'll be back, same bat time, same bat channel, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for my first show. I hope to see you all then. If not, I can see you in the 4 uh, p.m. show on my second show. Take care, everyone. We love you very much. You're very great people. Thank you for hosting me. Have a very, very good day, a good night, or a good morning. And remember, keep it between the ditches, everyone. Thank you.